Hey everybody, good morning. I'm about to give you a tour of my camp's accommodation here in Milan, Italy. Let's get to it. Here I'm walking up to the key card thing because you need, that is a lock because we are given a key like a hotel key that you need not only to open doors and everything but also to uh, open stairwells to access your room and to plug into your, your wall but I'll talk about that later. That's the floor plan, you can pause if you want to. That is the reception, there's always somebody there 24-7. Um, you can sign into the gym there. You can ask for leisure room equipment if you need to. You need to sign your visitors in if you're going to have visitors, which is allowed. Um, it's a bit wonky right now with COVID, but it is allowed. You just have to sign them in and they can't sleep over. Two elevators, um, two stairwells. And on the first floor, we have the leisure room, which is where I'm about to go in now. There is a ping pong table. There is a big, not a screen, but like a, what do you call it, a projector. You can watch clearly sports here. Um, F1 sports, Olympics, soccer, football, whatever. There's a foosball table or a pool table that you can get the equipment for in the reception. And there is two, that's foosball. That's, you, there's two foosball tables that you can use whenever you want. All of this is obviously paid for, or for free. I mean, for free, but it goes with what you're paying, uh, I guess. And it is the famous leisure room. Now, if you go to the right, and then to the right again, you will see another room that is quite important for a lot of people. That is the gym. I try to go to the gym every day for at least 45 minutes, um, only because I'm doing a stupid challenge that you can check out up there in that corner. There is a bunch of equipment in the gym. You have to sign up for like an hour slot. There's three, three people allowed, but honestly, don't tell anybody, but it's not very enforced. Uh, two treadmills, bunch of weights, except eight and 14 kilo weights for some reason. We don't have those. A bunch of uh, uh, a dumbbell, uh, the bench thing, a cycle, weight machines, just the whole lot. It's really functional, especially considering that you're already paying for it, so you're not paying extra money for weights. And I mean, you're not paying extra money for gym or gym equipment and you don't have to commute. Um, you just have to take the elevator or the stairs. And moving on to the building, you're now gonna see me take the stairs, which might take a while, so I might cut it or I might just talk over it. Um, another important room is the laundry and ironing service place. You have to make your, you have to do your own laundry, obviously, because we're all grown up here at university. There is that room that has two, two washers and two dryers that each cost two euros to operate, which you can pay either by cash with coins or via this app thing. And there is another room, another laundry room with again, two washers, two dryers. But later we're gonna explore the importance of drying racks. But anyway, there's five floors to this building and on floor number one, from floor number zero, you can see me use the card there. But on this first floor, there is the second two most important rooms of the building, which is the study hall, where it is open and available 24 seven. It is not exactly a quiet space as much as it is a space, like it's not a necessarily enforced quiet space, just a space where you know people, you need to be quiet. And then there's a library, which is much more quiet. I don't always call it a library. There's not books as much as there is booklets for like ads for Camp Luce, but there are two private rooms um, that you can use what, if they're free, if they're available. You can't book them, but you can just walk in, sit down, and just have your study sessions, the like group study sessions, without bothering people that might be doing their solo individual studying in the study hall. So that's the difference between this smaller library and that bigger study hall. And usually before exams or um, just after like a big day, there will be not it, it'll never be full but there will be like a lot of people studying there half full then on either side of this passageway there are areas where you can if the weather is nice which is not often um sit outside study outside play music outside that you can smoke outside if you desire to but that's that's about it you can chill eat there it's usually quite cold and windy most of the year then we have the kitchen in green wing which is why it's green not blue 
you can sit here. There is lockers for those of pe those people that need it, which depends on the type of room you have, which we will talk about later in the video. You can keep all your food and cooking utensils here if you want. They have disappeared mysteriously a couple of times, so people tend to keep them in the rooms. But of course, the fridge is fully stocked and the freezer is fully stocked, again, with individuals' stuff. So you can't just come here and take whatever you want. That is somebody's stuff. That is somebody's lettuce and tomatoes and cheese, so they're not free to take. You do have to do your own grocery shopping. But it, the options there, you can cook there. It's really nice to just go there, cook while other people are cooking. That's another way of meeting people, making friends, whatever. So yeah, this is where you can come chill outside, smoke, drink, uh, lunch, whatever. Um, but right now, I'm gonna transition to the next area where Emmy is gonna give us a tour, a tour of her room. I'm gonna list the details of her room in one of the corners of the video. But yeah, thank you, Emmy, for giving us this tour. Really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys when I'm giving you the tour of the rest of the rooms. Hi, welcome to campus, Camp Plus. This is the Humanitas accommodation, and this is the single room in an apartment. This is how we enter. You have a few seconds before the door locks. So you have to enter your own room and stick your card in or else it will lock and the lights will not turn on. So the lights turn on, the electricity will turn on. Um, there's, all the ports will turn, the electricity will completely go off if your card is not in your room, except the one port that is green, that one will always be on. So if you need any emergency charging, you can trust that. Um, so in my accommodation, I have a single room and I share it with another girl who is of uh, third year. And usually they'll, pair you up with same gender, but people of similar cultures or um, sometimes different years. Like for example, I'm with a different, I'm with, I'm with a third year. Um, some people have a roommate who is of the same class and same year, but it always changes. It's always going to be same gender and hope you get along. <laughs> <laughs> so in every room, there's three trashes. Because here in Italy, you have to separate all your trash because we have to recycle. Um, you can separate however you want. Me and my roommate have decided that this is paper, indifferentiated, so that's everything that's not unsorted. paper, unsorted. So that's unsorted. And the last is glass or metal. And then we have a separate one for plastic because we have a lot of plastic. Um, <laughs> and then underneath your um, kitchen, so this is the kitchen, nice and cozy. You got a sink, you have induction stove. Um, and then here's the organic. Organic ones is a tricky one because you have to have a specific kind of bag for it. It's most um, supermarket bags that have like a very soft texture because those are biodegradable. And so all the, everybody has a bunch of storage. I don't use this because I can't really reach and I don't have that much stuff anyway. <laughs> um. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and, uh, above the sink you usually have the kind of drying racks and i also use it as a storage but you can decide however you want to use it as well uh me and my roommate have like you can separate however you want we have like half half uh and a bunch of additional storage because this is also for people who have double and double so it can also be shared for four people so that's where they have all this extra storage um fridge freezer induction stove this is a tricky thing to learn because it has to have you need to buy pans and stuff that are directly only for induction. Like my teapot is an induction, so I had to buy this induction converter thing. And so it warms up that and it warms up this. And then, so you have to be very careful with your pots and pans when you buy them, because you don't want to waste money on a pan that then doesn't work. Uh, also like uh, coffee mochas, uh, they are, most of them are not induction. And I learned that the hard way. So these ones are not induction. You have to buy that extra thing. <laughs> And so yeah, you can organize however you want. I have like here on my place, my roommate decides to have her place there or underneath the TV. Everybody has a TV. It has almost, it has several channels. Most of them are usually Italian. We love watching football there, but sometimes they're just not shown, but we can always go downstairs to the reception and ask to get that fixed. And everybody has a microwave. Then you can add all your additional stuff. I bought a kettle, panini maker, you can have a scale. I also bought this Brita, this water filter, because I don't personally trust drinking the tap water. I'm cutting this out. <laughs> so, I don't like drinking the tap water. It doesn't taste bad, but you know, an industrialized area. So this is just a water filter. Well, that's your choice. I have a friend who drinks from the tap and he hasn't grown anything, so he's fine so far. 
<laughs> okay, so this is my room. Everybody has their own bathroom. What type of room is it? So this is the single and apartment room. So you have a single bed. It's nice and cozy. Um, it's just, some people argue it's a small room, but I, I mean, I, I'm a small person, so I find this very comfortable. It's not too big, not too small. Um, I recommend buying your own drying rack because laundry is two euros for washing and two euros for drying. And drying can sometimes also like ruin your clothes. Um, so it's a very good investment. And because the AC is very strong, it can dry up in like one night. So or anything urgent, you can always use the drying rack. Um, I have a beautiful view of the university and also the sunset. Uh, but now it's kind of destroyed by the crane because we're getting a new building for our medtech students, the innovation building. And yeah, the university supplies you with uh, bed sheets, etc. But you're welcome to bring your own. Like I have my own pillow. I bought an extra pillow because I didn't like the pillows too much. They're a little too soft for me. But that's your choice. Um, underneath the bed, you have additional storage. You can pull it up. And I leave all my suitcases here. I have, um, like in winter, I decide to put my summer clothes in my suitcase so I have more storage. I'm going to put it down here if I don't need it. Um, you can hang whatever you want on the wall as long as you don't ruin the paint. So nothing that's too strong or you're not allowed to nail anything in the wall. Uh, everybody has a landline. This is a, to easily contact the reception if you need. This is the green port that I was discussing earlier that will always work regardless if your card is in or not. And everybody has a lamp, so it's nice and cozy, lots of storage. And uh, then this is how much closet space I have. I have a mirror in here, but depending on the room you get, you can have bigger or smaller. People who have a double room, because they have two roommates in one room, they have it bigger. Or if you have the superior single room, so you have a double bed there and you have bigger, much more space. And the bathroom, everybody has a shower. The toilet bidet and in here there's also more storage and everybody's given a hand towel a, a shower like a bath towel and also a floor carpet, carpet. <laughs> <laughs> and additionally you're also given um this other kind of towel that i use for like most of us use it for um the kitchen um, additionally, if you want, I have bought additional kitchen towels from Ikea, which I use in case, because sometimes they don't, they forget to clean it out or whatever, or if you need, like you make it a little too dirty, you have backup. How often do you get towels or something? Um, every week. So it depends on whatever your floor or corridor you're at. They will change your towels and bed sheets once a week. And then a few days after that, they'll do another cleaning, which is like more surface cleaning. They clean the bathroom again. Um, so I have written on our wall, just because we couldn't remember at the beginning. Uh, for us, for example, they clean proper cleaning, so floor, and they change our bed sheets, etc. every Wednesday. And it doesn't, they don't have a specific time, so sometimes they come in the morning, sometimes they come later. So if you're sleeping in, you don't have a class, you, and you don't want to be bothered by the um, cleaning personnel, you can click this Do Not Disturb button. It works if you have your door room closed, you click it, and there'll be a do not disturb sign on your door in the, the front of the apartment, and they will not disturb you in the morning or until there's that sign that's off. However, it'll come off as soon as you open the door. So you can't have it on and you'll, you, you can be chilling in the living room because then they know you're not sleeping, so they'll bother you. Um, and then they do the surface cleaning a few days after that. For me, they do it on Fridays. And yeah, this is a single room and apartment. So this is a room, a double room in apartment, which means we have the kitchen that is shared between the two occupants of one room and maybe somebody else in another room, as is the case here. Again, you have the usual garbage cans, sofa, um, kitchen, one, one uh, fridge, bathroom between two people. That's the catch in this, in this room. You have obviously the bidet, the sink, the, the toilet, the shower, and the shower, um, the, the cabinet behind, one cabinet, two beds because two different people live here. Obviously, diff uh, same genders, uh, maybe different class. It depends on campus. You really can't, you can't choose in first year, but you can if you stay here for more than one year. But again, everybody gets their own. Obviously, towels, mats, uh, study spaces, and then you can divide the storage space of the room however you want. Usually, people do it 50-50, and campus seems to be equipped for that. Um, because they are, they give 
basically an even number of storage spaces. Out the window you can see how close it is to the university. Uh, you saw that in the drone shot at the beginning. And that is the only like proper wardrobe space that this room has. So you really have to be careful of what you bring and what you choose to bring because you won't be able to store anything. Yeah, th this is where you can put your card in. One works, but two works too if, if you have a roommate, um, as well as the heating. And this is the um, storage behind the mirror in the bathroom. Now we're about to see my room, which is a superior single room, which means it is the space of a double room, but it's in fact just me who lives here. So again, the usual shared kitchen. We only got two trash cans, but I think that's just our fault. Beautiful sunset. Um, I say it's our fault because we never said we wanted another one. It just wasn't there and we just kind of rolled with it. It's a bit chaotic now, but it's fine. Um, again, a bunch of space. We don't really use it. You don't really have to, even though three people live in this apartment right now. Um, if you need it, you can use it, but it, usually it's empty. One fridge for three people. That can be a bit uh, iffy sometimes. Um, you can see there the three, the three uh, doors. That's my room. Again, to the right, my bathroom. Um, just me using it. I brought my bathrobe too, and even though I do get um, towels every week, I don't usually use them that much. I just have my bathrobe that obviously I'm in charge of taking care of and cleaning and everything. One double bed, which is two single beds pushed together. Really comfortable. I don't think it's necessary. I only got this because I couldn't get the single room, the normal single room, and I was forced into the superior single room. Um, I also didn't want to share because I just didn't want to share. One double desk only for me. Something I am grateful for is the double wardrobe. I don't even have that much clothes, but just not having to think about organizing my clothes into one small wardrobe is so nice. I just get to use all of it and it's not cramped and I can just kind of splay out if I, if I want to. And I do, I do. It's really nice, I uh, really can't complain. But yeah, again, not that much to say about my room. Um, now we're gonna speed run this upcoming room because it doesn't have a kitchen. It's a single room, um, double bed, but single room, no kitchen, no roommates, no anything. So they would use the common kitchen that you saw below. Again, you can see the spices here because people don't keep their things, not all of them, in the in the common kitchen. Um, this is really much simpler because you don't have to deal with roommates, flatmates, uh, a common space. You can just do everything in the common kitchen if you want to, or you can just order takeout. Everything arrives here, Burger King, uh, Poke, Ghee, tacos, whatever you want. And that's that's basically the room, a double bed, desk, bunch of wardrobes, which we're gonna see in a second, bathroom. Again, all the bathrooms are exactly the same, whether you're sharing them or, or using, um, using them by yourself. Every room has their own bathroom, which is really nice. And again, that's the wardrobe. It's a lot, um, but again, some people, some people may use all of it, some people might not. And um, yeah, that's that's basically it again. Not that much to say either about these rooms. Very straightforward. And uh, let's move on to the last type of room, which is a suite, which is a living room, kitchen, all that with, again, the sofa, very close to the to the university. These are all in the same building, obviously, but you can see the kitchen, you can see the appliances, fridge, all the cupboards, everything. That is for one person. There is no other door in this apartment. Double bed, um, double closet, double desk, one bathroom for one person, this is the most expensive type of room because you have basically what two or three people might be sharing just for yourself, right? So it's the person I talked to, the owner of this room said that she doesn't think it was worth it either. She thinks it's a bit too expensive for what you're truly getting, um, but it is what it is. You can choose to get this or choose to not get this. Um, I, I think, I don't think it's worth it either. This specific room, I think they're, they, it's very expensive. You can see the costs uh, wherever I put them, but that is what it is. I think it's a very comfortable option if you can afford it and if you can afford it comfortably. You don't have to deal with roommates or other people, people you don't know or anything. It really is like having your own flat. The only thing I didn't show you because I didn't think it was necessary was the trash cans. You have to take out your own trash. If you want to see how I live here, you should click on this or on this because those are vlogs that you will enjoy and you should subscribe in the middle. Cheers!